Hi guys, Dan Holton from GuitarLessonCentral.com here and I've got another question to go over here and this one's about picks and do you know what? I'm amazed the amount of times I get asked about what kind of picks you use. So I'm going to read through this question and then kind of go through it. So this is from someone called Brandon G in Baldwin Park and he says, I am a beginner guitarist and I have been for as long as I can remember. Um, so I keep going into my local guitar store to pick up picks. Uh, mainly because I can't afford to buy anything else in there. And I was hoping you had some suggestions on the best kind of pick to use as a beginner. I play electric guitar very badly. Right, well, first of all, Brandon, I'm sure it's not that bad and you've got to stop putting yourself down. <laughs> I'm sure you're getting along better than you think. Now, I can answer your question about picks um, and it does totally differ depending on who you are, but we're going to look at this from a beginner's point of view, okay? Now, for me, I always play using, I've got a little uh, selection of picks here to kind of go through. I always use the same pick no matter what I'm playing, okay? What I use is, is a kind of medium weight pick. I think this is just over something like 1.10 millimeters, I think is, is the measurement. Um, yeah, it's quite thick and it's a reasonable size. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Uh, it's not a massive one. I'll compare it to some others in a second. But the point being is that I don't think you want to be having a pick per uh, song, if you know what I mean. So a lot of guys might say that, you know, use a really thin pick if you're just going to be strumming. But for me, that doesn't make any sense because if you've got a really... So I've got a couple here because um, sometimes, you know, it's worth just having a whole bunch of them. But this is a very thin plectrum here. So this is, you can see I can bend it like this. Look at that, that's crazy. So a lot of beginners love using this because it doesn't make any noise. So you, you know, you're, you're strumming away and, and because you're shy about what you're playing, uh, this is perfect because you can barely hear anything because it's so flimsy, it's like playing with paper. This is a 0.46 millimeter. Um, but of course, you know, that's not the point, you know, you need to hear what you're playing. This is only going to disguise mistakes that you're making with your left or your right hand, uh, potentially, and therefore not good for your progress. Of course, as well, by using that, you can't, you just simply can't play heavier, okay? So that is a one trick pony and do not use them. That's my opinion <laughs> and it's pretty strong. Now, as I go up in, in kind of, uh, in, in gauge, I think they call it, um, this is like a 0.7, so this is getting a bit better, and it, it's stiffer, so this is better, this is better. And what this allows as you go kind of up in the gauge, is it allows you to hit it a bit harder. So dynamically, you know, you can start shifting. So I'll give you an example of this, what I mean by dynamic. If I'm playing a basic chord progression, right, something like this. Now, I can choose to play light. I can choose, I just have to, what I do is I slightly loosen the grip on the plectrum and I literally strum lighter. So that's kind of doing what that other one did, but I'm choosing to do it, okay? But of course, the key is that I can also strum harder. So I'm just coming up to a bridge. before going into the kind of next part. So, you know, it gives me this option and this choice and then I get used to being able to use a slightly thicker pick. So I think somewhere between 0.7 uh, or 0.8 and up to about 1.1, something like that, 1.2. These are all good. Even if you go a little bit heavier then that's okay. You've just got to don't hit too hard with the heavy, heavy picks because if you do, the, the strings are just going to flap right out of tune and it's going to sound a bit Awful. So somewhere in that middle range, medium weight pick. Um, brand really doesn't matter, I don't think. One thing that really happens to a lot of beginners is the pick falls out of the fingers, of course. I think probably you've been there. Um, and, and for those instances, there are picks designed that have got like kind of indents that you can kind of grip, but none of it will work. <laughs> it will work to some extent, but you're still going to drop your pick. So what I'm saying, the moral of the story is choose a pick that can do it all, okay? You know, you're going to have to learn how to hold it properly, how to grip it, how not to drop it. So whether you've got one that's got loads of grip on it or not, it's not going to make too much difference. You're still going to learn how to grip a plectrum properly. If it's too light, you're going to kind of completely shut yourself off to certain types of things. If it's too heavy, the same thing. So nice and in the middle. 
And basically, like I always say, it's your technique that makes the difference. So you learn how to strum lightly, how to strum hard, okay? Also, when it comes to kind of running scales, which I'm assuming you'll get to at some point, if your pick's too light, the, by the time the plectrums reset itself, you're going to already want to be playing the next note and it's not going to be able to keep up with you. So something in the middle will feel nice and you know easy to kind of play through single note lines as well. So that's really all I have to say on that. There's so many brands. If you had a look in this little pot here, you'd see so many crazy looking plex rooms that I've tried over the years. Big fat ones and tiny, tiny little ones. Um, and i tell you what, I always come back to the kind of middle of the road normal plectrums, nice kind of, not too sharp at the edge, that would probably be slightly too sharp, not too blunt, just somewhere in the middle, um, is absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm just trying to find a really good example. This one, the one I always use. So a nice kind of, you know, a nice point, but not too sharp, but not too rounded either, a decent size, so I feel it in my hands, and that does the job for me, and hopefully it will do for you.